At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. I'd like to talk today about electronic trading. And I'd like to first of all start by giving uh, a definition uh, of what electronic trading is. A lot of people are confused as to the, the various different aspects of electronic trading. So here I'd like to try and give an overview of how the different parts fit together. Okay, so uh, we're going to start talking about electronic trading, talking about who are the market participants, who are the people who are, want to take part in electronic trading, both on the market making side and on the client side. And then we want to discuss the differences between principal and agency trading. Next, trading venues. So you can execute on different types of venues, exchanges, ECNs, which I will describe shortly, and dark pools. Uh, I will talk a little bit about execution order types and how you can execute on these venues. And then what is algorithmic execution? The second, uh, maybe the opposite impact in some ways, is information leakage. So as an order is execute, executed, you may find that the market starts to move away from your price that you traded at. So this could be because, because people are reacting to your order. So both of these concepts, the concept of uh, market impact, leads us nicely into the concept of algorithmic execution. I'd like to thank the audience for sending your questions. We'll start with the first one, Jamie. How can electronic trading help end users of financial instruments? Right. So for end users, the main benefit of electronic trading is transparency. So that's transparency of price uh, and of execution uh, and being able to observe the marketplace more cleanly.